Hello, Hello Trading has closed on October 7th, 2024. We'll do our disclaimer, go over our calls, make our predictions. This is my trading plan for tomorrow, which is October 8th, 2024. Please remember my calls can be wrong. Trade at your own risk. Also, um, because of Hurricane Milton, there is a chance I won't be able to follow the market or make any videos for the next few days. If it misses me, I'll keep on doing it. Look for the pattern with the early high. It tends to have an early high and a late low. We got that. We said the late low didn't have to be less than the early high, but that didn't mean it wouldn't be, and it certainly was. We said that rallies like this almost always follow through Monday, and if it didn't follow through Monday, it was very negative. It didn't follow through, and it was very negative. So it's just a reminder of what we said. Now we have a number of things this week that have a possible high this week. Last Friday was actually a direct hit of a timing system of a friend of mine. We have some other timing systems coming up based on the Mark's work and Christopher Carolyn works. They aren't all the same day, but they all converge on this week. Now until we break through and start to start to drop, um, there's always a chance we piddle around some more here and but uh, sentiment indicators are indicating at some point we're going to break down. And when we break down, there are a whole lot of lower targets, but wouldn't surprise me if we went under 5,400 at least, and maybe lower than that. So any calls for rallies at this point have to be aware what the downside is. So anyone going long here, I think, needs to stop. And that's particularly important because we have some higher targets generated from today's patterns. 57.29.90, if we don't cap down smartly, system calls for that to print. We have an ultimate target, 57.39.35. Ultimate targets don't have any time frame, but usually you don't have to wait too long. Now the system likes to leave failed targets by highs. Um, this is not really right at the high, which is here doesn't mean they are going to print, but it would make a pretty picture for me if we could recover a bit first and these things printed. Just because it makes a pretty picture doesn't mean it's going to happen, but that's what I'd like to see. We got an ultimate buy signal that hasn't hit the minimum target and that gives us one target. MEJT also says this drop isn't for keeps so and we're going to go over this top white line. That's where the targets come from. Now we have a DeMarc combo cell. We have a sequential cell in alignment with it because the last bar can finish early. So it meets all his criteria, but if we had one more rally to get bar 13 without it finishing early, that wouldn't change anything. Doesn't mean you have to get it. The signal's already there. But if we rally a bit and get bar 13 not finishing early, um, it would certainly be closer to Caroline's date and would make a prettier picture. That's no guarantee it's going to happen because these patterns don't have to go to completion. Well, this isn't part of the MJT system, but it is another one of my of my patterns called the diamond on stilts. Here's the left stilt, here's the right stilt, and half a diamond is all you need. This is the origin of the left stilt. You don't have to go to completion, but when you go to completion, that's the target. The origin of the left stilt is right here, and that's the support level. Now, support doesn't have to hold. And if we gap under this, I think it's bombs away on the downside. But usually, not always, usually what happens is the first challenge of the origin of the left stilt holds. 
and the second time you challenge it, which has to be a few days later, challenge it again tomorrow doesn't count. The second challenge usually um, fails in grand style. So the ideal setup for me, not a guaranteed setup, would be if we held this support here, rallied a bit, got closer to Caroline's date, printed that bar 13 for real, uh, hit our targets, and then had a collapse. But I'm not certain I'm going to play for a bounce here when the downside is so big. I mean, you might get another, what is this, 40-some points, less than 1%. But once it starts dropping, I mean, we had... We had a cup with up with up we had a cup with up sloping handle targets to retrace to the origin. That's that's close to three hundred handles under where we are now. I'm not certain I want to play for less than one percent when that's the upside and the downside is to drop three hundred handles. I'm gonna to try to play for this big drop. And we have lower targets. I mean one of them just under 5,500, I think that's certainly in play. One of them just under 5,300, that's this TDST line here, um, where the whole pattern started. I don't think that's out of reach. So when you've got hundreds of handles to come if you fail, if you're going to play the long side, you have to be pretty nimble. But as far as I'm concerned, this is support the first time usually holds. And as long as it holds, I think we have reasonably higher targets. I'm not going to be able to play them because I might lose power and be, in, be incommunicado a few days if the hurricane hits me, but somebody else should know what the targets are. I'm not risking my money on it. Today's pattern has a really high regardless of where we open. There are higher me GT targets, unless we gap down smartly, the rules call for them to print. Today's low is at a support level. So long as it holds, the odds favor higher prices regardless of where we close. Be aware of failure of support to hold, particularly if we gap under it opens the door to a decline, which could last hundreds of handles till it ends. Um, if it weren't for the hurricane, maybe I'd play this, but I just, I might be out of, I might lose power for a week, I don't know. So I can't play it. But we have the higher targets, we have support here. A rally here wouldn't change the bearish long-term picture. Sentiment indicators are, are telling us a big drop's coming, and it's just a question of when it starts. It's a pattern tomorrow with the early high, and that's the call.